winter is here. All right, now. All right, guys. All right, guys. All right. All right, so. All right. All right, guys. Yep, all right. All right, guys. All right, all right, so. Okay, boys. You got something to say, Forty? Yeah. Hi. Welcome back. Welcome back, Gunners, YouTubers, and subscribers. We are here at the garage. It's currently about 30 degrees. And uh, yes, winter is here. Uh, we did some modifications to the wood stove. Hopefully it does work. Uh, it just ended up extending the exhaust pipe above the roof line because a couple of people kept calling the cops, uh, the, the fire department here. And all the fire department told me was, hey, listen, take that pipe, pause, and just make sure it's past the roof line so that when the smoke does come out, people know where it's coming from. I'm glad I got that over with, right? Gonna try to heat up the garage this year on the wood stove because as soon as I turn those heaters on right there, $1,200 a month. It's more than my rent here, right? So, anyway, anyhow, anywho, hallelujah. How's everyone doing? How's life treating you? How are you guys doing mentally? How are you guys doing physically? I hope all of you are doing great. So, back from New Jersey Motorsports Park with Manolo. Car solid. Haven't done nothing to it. Got to figure out that breaking up issue. Uh, Jamie said it could just be a clogged injector. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, right? Um, got a text message last night from Gus at the body shop. He said, hey, come by and rip the suspension off the cars in a rotisserie. So today I'm going to go see the AK-47, give you guys an update take apart that subframe, take apart the rear trailer arms, and get the car uh, going on fixing the underbelly. I'm glad you're back. I'm trying to be a little bit more consistent with vlogs, and I'm trying to do my job, all right? I love you. I appreciate everyone here. Please like, comment, subscribe, share the vlog, share the channel. Let's try to get to 100K subscribers. I really want that plaque in this garage as an accolade and I need all your help to do it. So again, thank you so much. Let's start gunning. Okay, so I've packed up some tools um, to go take care of this subframe issue. I keep having the same problem with every car I build, right? It's always this axle that leaks grease. Now, I don't know if that's Steve's fault, but I don't have any rips in that boot but it's always this side axle. So I gotta, I, I'm gonna take this axle off, clean everything here. This was basically the only thing that I seen wrong with the car. Uh, also there. So every time I'm getting these axles serviced, I don't know if he's putting too much grease, pause, or um, I'm doing something wrong. I don't know, but I have no tears in that boot. It's a brand new boot on both sides. Uh, both axles uh, got serviced and they're new. So that's the only thing I see wrong with Manolo. I'm supposed to get that seven ripple belt, I think tomorrow. I have that as a spare for next year. But I'm also thinking about making some improvements to that oil cooler, maybe getting a bigger one, pause. Because I did see the temperatures get up to about 220, 218, and it was a cold day. So I, I'm just trying to imagine what it would do um, like on, on an 80 degree, 90 degree day. I don't want that to be a failure again to where the oil cooler isn't working properly. So with that being said, might upgrade the oil, uh, oil cooler. Uh, I've been really looking, I don't know if you guys have heard of a uh, set trab. I've heard nothing but good things about them. I actually have the sandwich plate with their thermostat on there. I might as well maybe do that over the winter. Just get a bigger oil cooler. Uh, maybe like, again, just a set trab one and see where I go from there. So I'm just waiting on a text from Gus to tell me to come by. Again, I got my tools packed to get rid of um, the subframe and the trailer arms on the AK-47 so they can actually start the process of uh, repairing the underbody. But again, as soon as I get that text, truck's waiting right there, I'm out. What was 
guys. All right, so we got my boy on the rotisserie here. Um, good thing that it's a little loud, you don't hear the music, but I gotta rip apart all the suspension so they can start turning the car and working underneath. So I got my tools again. I'm gonna just take everything apart and I should be right back. Okay guys, so so far I took apart, um, you know, basically this side right here, the suspension, uh, took the coilover down, uh, loosened up that top camber, and now I'm just waiting for him to raise the car. I'll be able to go under there, uh, rip off the 19s for the subframe, and he'll be able to turn the car much easier. I also loosened up the steering column. I took that bolt out of there because that's going to drop with the rack. All of that is going to drop in one piece. I prefer it that way. So I'm just trucking, just moving along. Remember, I got rid of those plates back here for the bumper support to save some weight. So now we're struggling with finding like a mounting system for this rotisserie. But everything is basically just ripping it apart right now. And again, I'm sorry about how loud I am. I'm just trying to not catch that music. And my boy. All right, so they're jacking up the car. I'll be able to go under there. Thank God, thank God, thank God. That's, that's better. There it is, so the car getting jacked up. I'll be able to go under there, take that subframe down, get this thing flipped over. Hey boys and girls, so that front suspension, I just dropped it all in one shot right here, right? So, um, pretty much just do the rears, pause, uh, but that's everything. Everything in the front, all taken off. Probably weighed like 80 pounds max. It's a real light um, subframe. Control arm spindles were on. Thank God the brake uh, rotors weren't on. Kind of made it a little bit easier, but dropped it roughly about 10 minutes, nice and easy. I'm gonna try to get under here and start ripping apart all this. I forgot my special lug nut socket for these. These are a billet um, lug nuts. I forgot where I got them from. Everybody likes them, but um, I'm gonna start ripping apart all this stuff here. That's it, dropped one shot, guys. Very, very easy. 14 here, twin 17s on this side. Dropped the uh, strut, all came out one piece. So I'll be able to take those home and rip them apart because I have the socket for that. So I'll basically do the same thing on here. The car will be much lighter. I'll take off that steering column also and then they'll be able to flip it. Steering column's off with the steering wheel, back suspension, front subframe. This car is ready to rotisserie. Rotisserie. It's ready to rotis, rotis, rotate, ready to rotate, rotate. Yeah, it's ugly down here, bro. They're gonna do such a great job. Wait till we turn this thing around. I can't wait to see the underbelly but they're just figuring out everything now with moving it, but it should be light. I wish I had a scale right now to see how much it weighed, right? Uh, I'm gonna take some of this stuff to the garage too. I don't wanna leave no loose ends around. Just let them do the body work stuff, and then I'll put something back on, maybe the new subframe to get it home. Boy, go. Flip. Hell yeah. She rotating now, boys. She rotating. Hell yeah. Kinda crazy to see. Kinda crazy. That is crazy. Man, Gus is a beast, bro. This guy's been painting cars and working on auto body since we were 15. Beast. It's there, that's it. My boy, hell yeah, great job, bro. Had to move a couple of things around, but for the most part, not that terrible. Wish I had one. Okay, so I'm pretty much done here. Gus got the car in a rotisserie. I really don't know these procedures. Um, he spoke to me something about torching the bottom. I, what has to be done, Gus? So there's really no right or right we're doing it right, but I think the best way to do it is with fucking um, torch it up. Yeah, right. Get it up to a point where it's gonna get out. All this coating just comes off, right? Exactly. Bare metal. Exactly. As we go, we're gonna figure it out. I would torch is a lot easier. Get it with a wire wheel. Mm -hmm. Take it off. But mm -hmm. um, like I said. As we go, we're going to learn. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. There's a couple of things we're going to weld up, close up here. But for the most part, the most important part, the car is on the rotisserie. It's nice and safe. 
it's in a great environment they're gonna start ripping all this basically apart and um yeah get to it again there's a couple of things that he's gonna end up welding and closing up but it's gonna have like a nice gloss look right oh, like it's gonna look like a fucking factory finish that's what's up man i'm excited i can't wait I uh, should be back here in a couple of days. We'll see some progress. You'll start to see all this basically just disappear in some real nasty, ugly, raw metal. But that means that we're heading in the right direction. Huge shout out to Gus, man. Took this job basically last minute. Held me down and I can't thank him enough. So, yeah, I'm excited to see what you do with this, bro. It's going to be good. So I'm going to lug my parts back home. Go uh, strip a couple of things. Uh, those rims got to go get powder coated. Uh, might repowder coat the rear arms again. Just clean up any bolts, any mis uh, you know, miscellaneous things. But yeah, man, anybody looking for a body shop? I'm always suggesting body shops. Before it used to be, you know, R&R, &R, um, Sasong, you know, we, we appreciate Enthusiast, all that. A, a Auto Body, um, they're taking care of the undercarriage. Uh, enthusiast Auto Body is going to paint the quarters and maybe the inside. I don't quite know yet. I'm just, wh whoever can squeeze me in, pause, that does really good work. Guys, this underbelly is going to cost me six grand, he said. It's not cheap. I'm telling you right now, there's a lot of work to do to that car. And, you know, with the amount of money that you pay employees, I'm damn near getting it at cost, give or take. He said it's going to take about 30 days, but yeah, man, you need an auto body. These guys, they produce some really good work. Gus has been doing this for a very long time. And just, again, connections. I'm B. This is A. You're C. I'm just trying to make you a connection here. If you need help, just tell them, hey, I saw you on Aki's channel. What could you do for me? Need a fender painted, need a bumper, whatever it is. You guys figure it out. I'm just making the connection because if I brought my car here, I trust these people. If you guys ever want to know what my favorite sandwich in the world is, is it right here. Hot pastrami, sliced thin, yellow American, well done, tomatoes, onions, salt, pepper, oil, vinegar. Look at that. Light mayo, light mayo, light mayo. You don't want to drown it in the mayo. And eat a mayo sandwich. You don't want to do that, cousin. Slow your roll, Buzzy. It's pretty cold in there. I'm gonna enjoy my little lunch combo I got right here with the. Yeah, you ain't you ain't eating a sandwich unless you mixing it with the chips. I went with the hot fries on this ride right here. Pause. I'm gonna enjoy my lunch. I'm gonna get my ass back to work, guys. Every bite Every bite Feels like a party in my mouth You fix it boy That stuff was heavier than I expected <laughs> Well, I got some work for tomorrow guys. I don't want to I don't want to start stripping this stuff now and then not have nothing to do tomorrow I'm just pacing myself again, pause. Um, so I know there's been a ton of inquiries for this subframe. People wanna buy it off me. I don't really want money for it. I don't know what to do. So I figured it out, right? I'm just gonna give it away to someone on Gunner Day. If they end up with it, if they need the money, I'll end up resharing when they have it. You can contact them, they can buy it off of you. Or you can buy it off of them, I'm sorry. Um, Whichever way around, doesn't matter. Um, yeah, so I so those two totes right there are filled with brand new parts, uh, used parts that I'll be giving away for Gunner Day. Inside is like three sets of cams, um, brand new throttle bodies, uh, conversion harnesses, uh, fuel pumps. There's a shit ton of stuff in there that I'm going to be giving away for Gunner Day. So Gunner Day is December 15th, if you didn't know. It's our only sale of the year. We take 47% off of selected uh, retro merch. Everything will be 47% off, but there's a selected few that is retroed, and then we'll give that back at 47% off, and then I'm gonna stick a bunch of money inside the packages. I'm gonna ship you some free parts. 
It's our birthday. It's everything we stand for. Gunner Day, December 15th, 2019 was the last time I raced. And uh, we, you know, we came up to, we came up with this idea a couple of years ago and it's been beautiful. It's been great. We have a great time, a great experience. And uh, yeah, that's just wanted to tell you guys about that. But I got the parts back into here the car hopefully i can get an update in a couple of days i'll go there with the camera keep you guys in the loop keep you guys posted but for the most part i got some work to do tomorrow should take me only about <laughs> half an hour with some nice music playing but it'll be something you know i've literally ran out of work and near the end of the year don't want to start a new build like the s2000 I want to finish the AK-47 first, and then we'll move on to the Silver Surfer. But yeah, back in the garage. Let me just, uh, you know, situate a few things over here. Well, Gunners, I uh, hope you enjoyed that update. Hope it gave you some kind of uh, clarity on what we're doing here. On, um, I keep saying what we're doing here. On what I'm doing here, and... Uh, you know, just an update on the AK-47. A lot of the stuff that was sent out to get powder coated was taken care of. I just got to make some more time to get over there and pick it up. I have to drop off the transmission casing. Um, didn't tell you guys about that. Had a really bad second gear on that PPG dog box. So I ended up stripping um, the transmission. That's the casing right there. I'm going to send that to get powder coated a nice silver and uh, go from there. Um, yeah, thank you so much for your continuous support. I appreciate you guys. Make sure you smash that like button, share the channel, and I'll uh, catch you on the next one. Keep gunning.